What's up YouTube? I'm your girl Tam. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things life in a show and tell you how I do it and do it oh so well from the comforts of my chair. Alright you guys, so today's video is going to be just a little talk session. We're going to talk about it because I think it needs to be talked about and that is how to have confidence in your disability or your handicap or your disadvantage or whatever your hang up is or your thing is how to push through regardless okay so on today's video i'm going to be sharing with you eight tips on how to just stay positive stay in a great mind frame regardless of your situation or what you're dealing with in life my first tip is to build a relationship with Christ. Let me tell you how important it is to have a foundation, a spiritual foundation. I know everybody is not a believer. They don't believe in Jesus. They may have another um, way of going about being spiritual. But for me, I believe in the Lord. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's just me. But I'm saying that you have to have something to gravitate to and help for you to kind of just keep the frame of mind that there is something bigger at work, bigger for me, bigger at hand than just, we just here on this earth and it just is what it is. Um, I feel like, like the word says, the joy of the Lord is my strength. And I feel like that's where I find my strength. Every day is not a bed of roses. I'm not just like, ah, I'm out here and it is what it is. No, there are days where I feel down, but I feel like I can go and draw to the Lord and draw from the Lord and get my strength and that he is the one that, you know, lifts me up. The Bible says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills, which come with my help, my help coming for the Lord. And some days are better than others, but I feel like that once I finally really got rooted and grounded in Jesus and, and God and understood that it was something more purposeful than just me just every day here on this earth just to be here. I really felt like that that helped me center myself. Um, again, it's not perfect. There are sometimes storms come through and days that I just feel like, oh my God, I just can't make it. But for real, once I just really just got my head on right when it came to my relationship with Christ, I felt like it made my days easier. It made the situation that I'm in and the things that I'm going through or go through even in my health um, a lot more tolerable. Tip number two, to find purpose. Um, I really feel like that if you, it goes back to like tip number one, finding out that there there's something out here bigger than just your everyday life, getting up and going to work or whatever you do, watching TV or just surfing the internet and all that stuff. It's something bigger out here. It's a purpose for your life. If you are still breathing, you have purpose. It can't be that you're just here for not. Even if you touch one person's life, and that's what I go off of and I pray every morning, like, let me be better than I was on yesterday. Let me encourage somebody um, that they too can make it. But finding your purpose. It may be starting a non a nonprofit. It may be your family. It may be um, getting out here and being an a activist, um, advocating for those of us who do have handicaps and disabilities and seeing the disadvantages in the community and stuff like that. But finding your purpose, I feel like that gives you drive and it gives you a push to continue on knowing that it's something more out here for you to do than just be the disabled person, be the handicapped person. Number three, Finding contentment with where you're at. Um, not always looking at where you want to be. You should have a vision. You should have goals. Um, but finding contentment, saying, you know what, this is what it is. And once I finally just decided to really dig deep in within myself and figure out like, okay, or, you know, talk to myself, because it's okay to talk to yourself and say, girl, this is, this is life, you know, um, when I had to start walking with a cane and then using a walker and then using a wheelchair and things became harder, I had to really come to grips with myself and say, this is what it is and living in your truth. And I feel like that once I really started to deal with those type of things, I didn't get so bothered when people look at me. 
and stare at me or have questions. If you and yourself and whatever you're dealing with and your confidence, you find contentment in that and say, you know what, I, I, I don't have my arm anymore, or I'm in a wheelchair, or um, I, I'm blind, or uh, there's all kind of different things. Find contentment and say it is what it is. It will help you to snatch your whole positivity all the way together and say, you know what, this is what it is, but I'm a rocket to the wheels fall off and I'm a rocket the best way I know how to. Number four, not focusing on what you can't or what you ain't. A lot of times we focus on what I can't do. I can't go out and run a marathon. Y'all yeah, wouldn't run a marathon when I could run, okay? Um, I can't climb stairs. I, that wasn't something that I enjoyed doing when I could do that. Stop focusing on what you can't do or what you ain't. I ain't 105 pounds and I'm a double zero because I used to be that child. Um, maybe I'm 175 now, you know, or I ain't uh, tall and Tyra Bankish or Beyonce or Rihanna. Like, come on now, stop focusing on what you can't do and what you ain't and focus on who you are. There is only one you. I don't care how many people share your name and share identical stories and yours, but there's only one you. And if you're waking up every day, there is a purpose for the one you to be you and rock it so the wheels fall off. Be you, do you, and be happy, slay it, okay? So don't focus on what you can't do and what you ain't and focus on what you still can do and what you, who you still are, okay? Number five, I've already said that don't compare. Don't compare yourself to the next person. It can be hard, especially when you see other people and you're like, oh, I want to be able to travel like this. I want to be able to do this and I want to be able to buy that or I want to be able to look like this person because it just looks so fabulous. But here's the thing. You should never covet, covet anything um, that anybody else has because you don't know what it took for them to get there. You don't know anybody's struggle for that anointing or that, 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 um, that whatever they have over their life. You don't know what it took for them to get there. People always say, oh my gosh, I love you and your husband's marriage. I wish when I get married, I want to be just like y'all. And I'm like, okay, that sounds cool, but you don't know all that it took for us to get to celebrating 19 years. So don't covet what I got. You may want to use us as an example and say, oh, that's a cool goal. I would love to be married for that long and be able to look happy because a lot of people look happy. Now, me and my husband are happy, but don't covet it and be like, oh, I want to be just like y'all. Or don't look at people's relationships and be like, oh, well, we don't do what they do. Or I wish you were more like this. Don't compare yourself to nobody else. What I say, be you, do you. For six, change what you can change and the things that you can't again find contentment in it but there are things that some of us can change there are some of us that are in situations y'all that it is what it is maybe you're bedridden maybe you're completely reliant upon on other things but there are a lot of times where it's not i can change my weight there's something that i'm not happy about i do not like carrying this extra weight and it makes it harder for me to transfer and be mobile it stifles my mobility when i am carrying extra pounds so i'm changing that it takes work because I have to really work on my diet because I cannot do a lot of physical activity. It's gonna come from me changing the way that I'm eating and I've already done that. Focus on those things. If you don't like your hair, if you don't like your weight, if you don't like the way you dress, you can change those things. I've seen a content creator named Lolo. She has a channel called Sitting Pretty. She had like an ad on Facebook and somebody was in the comments like going off talking about how she shouldn't glamorize disability because people can't afford this chair that she was in. And the girl wasn't even like saying anything about the chair. I think the chair was just being shown as a prop of like, yeah, I may be in this chair, but I'm still fly, I'm still sexy, I'm still fabulous. I still live my best life. And that's what I took from it. But this person thought she was just showing off and like disability isn't sexy hunty yes it is because i am very much that okay and it's a mindset so change what you can change if you got something that you don't like and you have the ability to do that and then those things that you can't find can ask god to give you contentment with it and then like i said slay it all day because there's only one you number seven find you a community Y'all, when I found out that there were like Facebook groups for individuals like me, clubhouse groups, um, TikTok, people on TikTok, I love finding people on Instagram 
and seeing people like me um, because it's great to have representation. And if you know, if you're a person of color, when you watch certain TV shows, you're like, uh, I don't see no black people. But when you see a black person, you're like, oh, okay, you know, or something like that. When you find individuals that are like-minded, that are um, relatable, it helps you and you can draw from one another. So I find different communities on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Um, I don't do the Twitter, but you know, find your community, find your your base and I think it really really helps because you can um, bounce ideas off of each other you can vent it's people that can relate to you people who are in wheelchairs can relate to me because I'm in a wheelchair you know um, but that doesn't mean that a person that's able-bodied can't relate to me but it does mean that it is a little bit easier for them the wheelchair person to understand the struggle of getting to the bathroom or transferring in and out of the car transferring in and out of the bed having to buy the equipment because it is expensive to live a disabled lifestyle um, it's very expensive um, but yeah finding a community really helps and my last tip you guys tip number eight is to take it day by day I mean the race is not given to the swift it is truly a marathon and not a sprint every day it's not gonna be peaches and cream a bed of roses happy-go-lucky some days you're gonna feel now regardless if you're in a wheelchair or dealing with a handicap regardless of what your your vice is your thing that you're lacking confidence in take it day by day if it's your weight management um if it's just um, being an introvert and wanting to get out and talk to people if you're single and you want to date take it day by day you guys and know that if today was a bad day there's always a tomorrow god willing he wakes you up and gives you a tomorrow or even what i do with myself if i wake up and i don't feel good or something like that I try not to let that be the whole day. I really try to wrap my mind around saying, okay, that, this is for this moment. Maybe I don't feel good. Maybe I'll take some Advil or something like that within two hours. I try to change my mindset. I really try to have a positive outlook and attitude. I can't always do that every day. Sometimes it just is what it is. But I really do. If, I'm, if I can snatch myself back out of the doom and gloom and the woe is me, I really do try to do that. I really try to practice what I preach and get in my own head and say, you know what, you're not going to let you stubbed your toe or somebody was mean to you on this social site or you didn't get all the views on your YouTube video that you wanted to get. That's not going to ruin your whole day, okay? You got 24 hours in the day and this was five minutes of that day. Let that five minutes be that five minutes. And like I said, and if it is the day, take your day. It's okay not to be okay, okay? Admit it to yourself sometimes and say, you know what, I'm not okay. I'm going to take a beat. It is what it is, and I'll try again tomorrow, okay? It is what it is. So, you guys, I hope that these eight tips helped you. It truly does help me. Let me know in the comments if you have any more tips or what I said in this video that may have helped you or sparked the idea. And also, let me know what else you guys want to see. I have some video ideas, um, some vlog ideas. I am going on vacation. I want to show you guys how... You can vacation even in a wheelchair. You can still live your best life even in a wheelchair, okay? Like, this does not stop anything, okay? But anyway, I really, truly appreciate you guys kicking it with me. Go check me out on TikTok and on Instagram. And um, make sure you like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.